Before I explain the topic, subscribe to the channel. So you don't miss the upcoming topics of the course. And I encourage you to like and comment on this video. What is a network administrator? A network administrator is the person designated in an organization whose responsibility includes maintaining computer infrastructures with emphasis on networking. Responsibilities may vary between organizations, but on-site servers, software network interactions as well as network integrity, resilience are the key areas of focus. A network administrator is the person designated in an organization whose responsibility includes maintaining computer infrastructures with emphasis on networking. Responsibilities may vary between organizations, but on-site servers, software network interactions as well as network integrity, resilience are the key areas of focus. The role of the network administrator can vary significantly depending on an organization's size location, and socioeconomic considerations. Some organizations work on a user-to-technical support ratio, whilst others implement many other strategies. Generally, in terms of reactive situations, IT support incidents are raised through an issue tracking system. Typically, issues work their way through a help desk and then flow through to the relevant technology area for resolution. In the case of a network-related issue, an issue will be directed towards a network administrator. If a network administrator is unable to resolve an issue, a ticket will be escalated to a more senior network engineer for a restoration of service or a more appropriate skill group. Network administrators are often involved in proactive work. This type of work will often include network monitoring, testing the network for weakness, keeping an eye out for needed updates, installing and implementing security programs, in many cases, email and internet filters, evaluating implementing network. Network administrators are responsible for making sure that computer hardware and network infrastructure related to an organization's data network are effectively maintained. In smaller organizations, they are typically involved in the procurement of new hardware, the rollout of new software, maintaining disk images for new computer installs, making sure that licenses are paid for and up to date for software that needs it, maintaining the standards for server installations and applications, monitoring the performance of the network, checking for security breaches, and poor data management practices. A common question for the small medium business network administrator is, how much bandwidth do I need to run my business? Typically, within a larger organization, these roles are split into multiple roles or functions across various divisions and are not actioned by the one individual. In other organizations, some of these roles mentioned are carried out by system administrators. As with many technical roles, Network administrator positions require a breadth of technical knowledge and the ability to learn the intricacies of new networking and server software packages quickly. Within smaller organizations, the more senior role of network engineer is sometimes attached to the responsibilities of the network administrator. It is common for smaller organizations to outsource this function. I hope you learned something new today. Do you agree with my explanation about this topic? Leave a like, if this video helped you learn something. And write your opinion or question about this topic, in the comments. I will answer every question. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. To follow the course, and continue to learn about computer networking. Don't miss the upcoming topics of the course and also other courses in the future, because the videos are published daily. If you missed the previous videos, check the playlist in the description, all the previous topics will be available. In this computer networking course, we will explain several topics, from network protocols, to hardware devices, how a computer network works, and how computers can be linked to communicate and share data in a local or global network. 
This course is aimed for beginners, if you want to start learning about computer networking. What other subject or topic would you like to learn on this computer networking course? Or what other courses would you like to learn in this channel? Your opinion is very important, and maybe your suggestion will be made. But now, I want to know more about you. What is your job? Or, what are you studying in school? And why are you interested in learning about computer networking? Leave your answer, opinion, suggestion, or question, in the comments. Now let's talk about computer networking in general. A computer network is a group of computers that use a set of common communication protocols, over digital interconnections, for the purpose of sharing resources located on the network, or provided by other network nodes. The nodes of a computer network may be classified as personal computers, servers, networking hardware, or general purpose hosts. They are identified by host names and network addresses. The host names serve as memorable labels for the nodes that rarely change after initial assignment, and the network addresses serve for locating and identifying the nodes by communication protocols, such as the Internet Protocol IP. Computer networks support many applications and services, such as access to the World Wide Web, digital video, digital audio, shared use of application, storage servers, printers email or messaging applications. Computer engineering is a branch of engineering that integrates several fields of computer science and electronic engineering, required to develop computer hardware and software. Computer engineers usually have training in electronic or electrical engineering, software design, and hardware integration. Computer engineers are involved in many hardware and software aspects of computing, from the design of individual microcontrollers, microprocessors, personal computers, and supercomputers, to circuit design. This field of engineering not only focuses on how computer systems themselves work, but also how they integrate into the larger picture. Usual tasks involving computer engineers include writing software and firmware for embedded microcontrollers, designing chips, designing analog sensors, designing mixed signal circuit boards, and designing operating systems. Computer engineers are also suited for robotics research, which relies heavily on using digital systems to control and monitoring electrical systems, like motors, communications, and sensors. In many institutions of higher learning, Computer engineering students are allowed to choose areas of in-depth study, in their junior and senior year, because the full knowledge used in the design and application of computers is beyond the scope of an undergraduate degree. Internet is the global system of interconnected computer networks that uses the Internet Protocol Suite TCP /IP, to communicate between networks and devices. It is a network of networks, that consists of private, public, academic, business, and government networks of, local to global scope. This networks are linked by a broad array of electronic, wireless, and optical networking technologies. The Internet carries a vast range of information resources and services, such as hypertext documents and applications of the World Wide Web, electronic mail, phone communications, file sharing, and data streaming. The Internet has no single centralized governance, in either technological implementation or policies, for access and usage. Each constituent network sets its own policies. The overreaching definitions of the two principal namespaces in the Internet, the Internet Protocol Address, IP Address, and the Domain Name System, DNS are directed by a maintainer organization, the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. The technical underpinning and standardization of the core protocols is an activity of the Internet Engineering Task Force IETF, a non-profit organization of affiliated international participants, 
that anyone may associate with, by contributing technical expertise. Thanks for following this course. If you liked this topic, give a like to this video, and write your opinion on the comments. Or write what other topics or courses you would like to learn in this channel. Your opinion is very important, and maybe your suggestion will be made. And don't forget to subscribe, to follow the course, and continue to learn about computer networking. Don't miss the upcoming topics of the course, and also other courses in the future, because the videos are published daily. If you missed the previous videos, check the playlist in the description, all the previous topics will be available. And I will see you, in the next video.